According to Bleacher Report's Jake Fisher, the Lakers have had internal discussions about trading guard Russell Westbrook given his poor fit with LeBron James and Anthony Davis in the Lakers offense. This comes a day after the Athletics, uh, the Athletic reported that the Lakers are interested in Ben Simmons. Westbrook would need to be uh, so. Okay, Lakers are interested in Ben Simmons. Russell Westbrook, they've had internal discussions about trading him. Uh, This is crazy. Especially considering Russell Westbrook, he was traded to the Lakers on the day of the draft. People were expecting big things. This was the next big three. Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, um, uh, LeBron James. You added in Melo to the mix. You're bringing back Rondo. You're bringing back Howard. You're bringing back all these really great pieces and we are at this point in the season. The Lakers are what sixth in the in the Western Conference right now, and it's a good Western Conference. But the Lakers are supposed to be the class of this conference. That's why you construct this team. You have LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook, and you can't find a way to to make that work. It raises questions, and rightfully so. I will say this: I still do think it is too early. To you know, blow the whistle or, or or sound the alarm, as people say, on this whole Lakers situation. I still think it's too early for that. I think that the Los Angeles Lakers need time still to mess together because you look at historically some of these big three teams that came together. I mean, the exception of the Boston Celtics, they were apparently really good right out the gate, right? But you'll get the Miami team that LeBron James built, right? That that Miami team, then the the dream team of D-Way, Chris Bosh and and LeBron James. It took them nearly half the season to figure out how to play with each other. Now, I would say the only difference between this situation and that is that it seems like things are kind of going backwards with with the Lakers and Russell Westbrook and his fit and and his play is staying out especially And it's kind of proving some of the things that we knew about Russell Westbrook. That he is a player who is at his best when he has the ball. When the ball runs through Westbrook, he dominates. That hasn't necessarily translated to many playoff victories. That hasn't necessarily translated to Russell Westbrook and his team winning games. That has not translated, obviously, on the Lakers at all. So that's why I do, I think it's not working. I think it has to do with the way Russell Westbrook kind of plays, and I think he it would behoove him to adjust his play. We'll see if he does or not in time. But as far as the 76ers potentially being a trade partner for Russell Westbrook, that's an interesting note for me um, because apparently the 76ers have denied. Um, they have reportedly denied interest in a trade for Russell Westbrook. We know that Ben Simmons is still not a member of that team. Ben Simmons is still not um, on the uh, like he's still not showed up to practice, and you know they're not gonna. That's he's demanded a trade. We I don't think that situation is gonna be mended for anytime soon. So it brings up his name, and I think the Seventy Sixers, as far as them not being interested, they're not interested until they are interested, right? When you, when the Lakers call them up and legitimately put Russell Westbrook on the table. I think it's going to change the tune of whether or not they're seriously interested. Uh, The reason I say that is because right now you're dealing with Ben Simmons, who was on a max contract, who is burning money, who's burning cap, who doesn't want to be on your team. And you have a chance to get someone like Russell Westbrook, who bare minimum is going to show up and he's going to score points, hopefully, and at least do something and and be that ball-dominant guard that, you know, you kind of wanted Ben Simmons to be. Will it work with Joel Embiid and and, and them boys over there? I'm skeptical. I I think it'll work better than it is in L.A. right now just because I think think Embiid as a center, as a large, as a big, it it, it actually helps Westbrook out more because he's going to be able to... He's going to be able to get Embiid the ball, and he's going to be able to, you know, kind of take his own because that's kind of Embiid's role as well to kind of, you know, just be there, (laughs) just kind of be there sometimes. But, you know, I think two dominant players that play on the direct opposite end of the starting lineup, that'll work better than what the Lakers have going on with Westbrook and how he plays. That's just my opinion. 
that being said, I do think the 76ers would demand more. I don't know who or what would be part of that trade. Potentially picks, potentially, uh, you know, more players. I'm not sure the Lakers have that budding roster that they once had. They traded away a lot of those young pieces and they've gone all in on win now mode, right? Um, so I, I think you're looking at a bunch of first round picks and the 76ers are warranted in asking that and probably smart for asking that if, if they would be because the Lakers are the ones who are desperate to get Russell Westbrook off their books, right? Now, that being said, Lake, how would you got to look at how Ben Simmons would fit in the Lakers offense or the Lakers team? I think he would he would be a great facilitator and it would work only if Melo and others stepped up in scoring. If Melo specifically does not step up in scoring, which he, he's shown that he can do at, at times this season, I'm not sure what uh, how successful it's going to be because Ben Simmons just can't shoot. Like, we know this. It's not it's not a secret. It's no, you know, I'm not breaking news to anyone. I'm not triggering. I shouldn't be triggering anyone. It's just the truth. Ben Simmons can't shoot the ball. He hasn't been able to his, what, four or five years now in the league. And, you know, he that's okay. He probably shouldn't be a max contract player, but... That's okay because he can do a lot of other things very well. He's a great elite passer, in my opinion. He is good in the paint. He just is not going to be the guy who's going to put up thirty and and have like you know a thirty to a forty percent night from the three point line. He'd be lucky if he has like a a one percent night at the at the three point line. That's just him. And that's just how he is, but thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.